In today's world, the human body is the most expensive real estate that you will own. You can change your house, your car, your laptop, your phone, you can change a lot of things but you can't change the human body. Studying the human body has been part of our mission here at the Quad Nutrition Clinics where we want to deliver cutting edge nutrition science to your plate. Now one of the aspects is genetic testing. The genetic testing involves a software code in the human body and if your body is the most expensive asset you will ever own, why not dive under the hood and check out your software code, get a crystal ball gazing into your future. Now when we do nutrigenomics which is the science of how food interacts on your gene, we can get many things. For example, in the nutrition gene test, we look at the vitamin profile, we look at the oils that you can have, we look at whether you're allergic to caffeine, whether you're allergic to dood, uh, you're allergic to uh, coffee, all of these things. Now the perspective is why would you want to know this and eat everything? I think the science of buying high-end everything in your life and you want all of these features and benefits. Have you ever asked yourself, what are the features and benefits and what is the USP of me, the individual? So for example, when I did the nutrition gene testing, my magnesium deficiency gene is there, which is a mineral. Now, I did not know this till I did the genetic test. I also did the gluten intolerance test in my nutrition gene test. Now, when I came to know, I was not taking enough of magnesium and I was also eating gluten, which is found in wheat. As a result, I had a lot of adult acne, very sensitive gut, lots of major headaches all the time. But when I went forward with this whole perspective of nutrition gene testing, I got a crystal ball gazing to avoid certain foods and to consume more foods in quantity. So when can you do this gene test? You can do this gene test at any age. My six year old son was the youngest tested gene kid in the country for the nutrition panel fitness panel and the health panel. Because of this knowledge, we are able to construct a better adaptation into his diet, better adaptation into his fitness training. I've had an 88 year old marathon runner come into me to do the nutrition gene test. Why? Because this person wants to run further and wants to know does the gene of magnesium, sodium, potassium, copper, all of these things that are there that can be analyzed. Now you may ask, what is the difference between the blood test and the genetic test? The difference is the genetic test is your factory blueprint. When it comes out of the factory, what is the way you treat your vehicle, which is your body? A blood test is the fuel tank level. So my magnesium gene is deficient. So whenever I ask for a blood test, I ask to know the levels of magnesium in my blood. When I come to know they are low, I increase pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and dark chocolates. This really helps me in a perspective to get to the next level of keeping my muscles cramp free, less headaches, better ball movement because all of these are related to your magnesium consumption. I imagine this is one. There are over 60 parameters in the nutrition gene test. And are these tests reliable? Well, we are living in the current modern age society where we are sending rockets to the moon and Mars. Very, very important. This genetic test is being done on all the astronauts. This genetic test is being done on all the sports people. This genetic test is being done by the billionaires. Take it for me, I work with some of the best celebrities in the world. We are doing this to give you the knowledge and power to change the way you eat, not based on a myth or a fact or a celebrity giving you a diet plan, but science based to your body. And the most important thing is, your body has personalized medicine, personalized nutrition. Bio-individuality is the new name of the game. And will the results change in the years to come? Not really, the genetics remain the same, but food doesn't have an impact to change the way you eat. So if you're eating the right foods, obviously your body will improve. But doing a retest of genetics is not required. Maybe doing the microbiome test, the poop analysis test, or the blood test will give you further indication of how your body is at that month. That's all for me. Get the nutrition gene test because this is really going to help you get to the next level that you are at.